Toast will be fine for breakfast. Great, I think I saw an apple tree on the way. Do you think we're free to take some? Uh, not sure, but you can go ask. By the way, you might want to pick up other things. Maybe carrots? Elastic doesn't like apples. She doesn't? Well, she'd eat them, but she prefers other fruit. <sighs> you two, cut it out! Who cares about stupid orange head and her apples? Can't you see some of us are trying to sleep in? Quite frankly, I think you're gonna wake up the ladies if you keep yelling like that. You! Hey, little one. Wait, I'm not anyone suspicious. My name's Max. What's yours? Mom told me not to talk to strangers. Your mom taught you well. I just want to ask if you know who owns this apple tree. Nobody owns it. All the fruits and vegetables in Sila are free for everyone to take. Mom said we're a small community that helps and lives together. Thanks, little one. You didn't leave. Um... I got it. You wanted some apples, too. Yes. Sure, I'll get some for you. Here you go. Is four enough? I've got more if you want more. Four is good. Um... Are you the new source everyone's been talking about? Huh? Oh, you must be my friend Lastic. No, I'm her friend. So you are from the other side. Is the sun as bright as they say? How high do you have to fly to touch the moon? Is it true a season's change without magic? Are there a lot of people? Whoa, whoa. Looks like you're a curious one. Are you a prince? Me? Yeah, I read stories of handsome princes. Are you one of them? <laughs> what do you think? I think you are. <laughs> You're the most handsome boy, guy, person I have ever seen. That's a big compliment coming from such a cute lady. Thank you. Tell you what, you go on ahead to your home now. I have to bring these back to my friends, but if you find me later, I'll tell you all about the other side. How does that sound? Hmm. Huh. Okay. And make sure you let your mother know. We wouldn't want her to worry about talking to strangers. Okay. I'll tell her I'm friends with the prince. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, wow. You boys made breakfast? Neil did most of the cooking. I just got some fresh fruits and vegetables. Should I wake Lastic up? Sure. She'd probably sleep until noon if nobody wakes her. She probably didn't go to bed until late, right? It seemed like it. She's a night owl. She sure is. I think she always went to bed late in Blades Academy, too. I'll go wake her up. Hey, I can't open my eyes. I told you your eyes would get all puffy. Neil, make it go away. Just have some breakfast and it'll get better after a bit. Maybe some cold water will help. Since the boys prepared the meal, how about we clean up after? Yes, that's a great idea. Pay up. Has anyone ever told you you tend to leave out information? Don't think I've forgotten about our deal. Our deal? I help Orange Head, and you help me get shape-shifting under control. Ah, about that. I didn't consider it a deal, but I suppose it's my turn to help. And here I thought you were just being a good friend to help Lastic. <laughs> friend? Ha! <laughs> 
Yes, friend. She sure seems to consider you one. Whatever. Just tell me what to do to get this annoying shapeshifting controlled at will. As a non-shapeshifter, I have no idea. What? Why you? And along with your shapeshifting, you should work on your temper. If I had my magic, I would have turned you into a rat for this. <sighs> I know someone who can help you. Yeah, and why should I believe you this time? It's either that, or you deal with shapeshifting at random times for the rest of your life. <sighs> who do I need to hunt down? <laughs> you? Hunt down? He'll shred you into pieces before you even try anything. Look, he goes by the name of Bear in Sila. He's Lady Phyllis's fate imprint. Just ask Lady Phyllis's whereabouts, and she'll point you in the right direction. <laughs> You'd better be telling the truth. Hello? Ah, hello there. You are Rylan, right? How can I help you? I'm looking for someone named Bear. Bear? Why him? B because... Hmm. Oh my! I can't believe I didn't figure this out earlier. I knew something about you felt similar to Bear. You're a shapeshifter, aren't you? Yes. How splendid! Shapeshifting is a unique gift, especially to non-sources. I wouldn't exactly call it a gift. Sure it is. Have you got your gift under control? Um... Ah, so that's why you're looking for Bear. He's someone who can help you. Head to the north of the village. Bear usually spends his free time in the woods. If you have any problems, just follow your instinct. Thanks. Good luck. such woods in the underground. Gah! Where is this stupid? Hey, quiet down, will ya? You scared all the fish. <laughs> They'll come back. Uh, I'm looking for someone named Bear. Do you know where to find him? Well, you're looking at him. You're Bear? Yep. <sighs> now, who are you? I don't think I've seen you in Sela before. My name is Rylan. I'm a striker that came here with Orange Head. I mean, Blastic! Mm. A new source in Sela. Oh yeah, I heard of her. The whole village was excited about her. They are? Sure, we don't get many visitors in Sela for obvious reasons. And there aren't many sources. When a new one is born, the whole village celebrates it. Are you this Lastix imprint? How did you know? I mean, I guess I'm supposed to be her fate imprint, but... But you're not too happy with it. <laughs> Us strikers are just such free spirits and hate being tied down. Wait, does that mean you're a striker as well? I am. I'm an outsider, like you, who was drawn to Sela because of my fate imprint. You've met Lady Phyllis. Now, how can I help you, fellow striker boy? I need to get my shapeshifting under control. You mean to tell me you're a shapeshifter? Ha! We should spar. I don't think you heard me. I don't have it under control. Because you don't have your emotions under control. I bet if I made you angry, you'd turn into your shapeshift form. Now, what can you shapeshift into? A wolf. Aha! A loyal heart you got, don't you? <laughs> Us shapeshifters tend to shapeshift into an animal that represents our qualities. What about you? Doesn't my name give it away? <laughs> well, it's actually my nickname, but my shapeshift form is a bear. Like I said, I need to get my shapeshifting under control. It's quite... annoying. Sure, but how about we spar first? I'd love to see your shape-shifted form. No, back away! Well, this 
this is interesting. Looks like anger isn't the only emotion you're unable to control. Huh? You... you are a human? Yeah, and you must be lasting. My name is Bear. It's nice to meet you. Hello, Mr. Bear. I know Rylan can be quite rude, but he isn't so bad. Whatever he might have said to offend you, he probably didn't mean it. <sighs> no, no, he didn't pick a fight with me. We were just sparring, so trying to make his shape-shifting points more precise. But you jumping in helped me figure it out. You were helping him? Sure. Now that you know, how about you leave us alone, Orange Head? Oh gosh, so sorry to interrupt. I didn't mean it. Um, oh, please take care of Rylan, Mr. Bear. You got it. <laughs> you like her, don't you? What? That Orange Head? Of course not! Right. Your reaction reminds me of little boys with their first crush. I don't like her. She's annoying. Keep telling yourself that, boy, and you'll get nowhere with your shapeshifting. Like I said, you can't control your shapeshifting because you don't know your emotions. There's something all sources and knights have in common, and that is that self-acceptance is the key to controlling your power. Whether it's sorrow, hatred, or love, that's all a part of you. Consider having some quiet time and talking to your inner self. It'll be more fun with me to spar with you then. Lady Phyllis, this is a nice surprise. Um, do you want to come in? Actually, I was hoping for you to come out. Everyone in Sela has a surprise for you. They do. You see, there aren't many sources. And when a new one is born in Sela, everyone celebrates the birth of the newest member. I know this isn't exactly your birthday, but everyone wanted to celebrate your arrival. This is so sweet. Welcome to Sela. Oh, thank you so much for the flower. It's so beautiful. Psst. Huh? Do you think the prince likes to dance? The prince? Yes, that handsome prince. Oh, you mean Max. Well, I guess we should ask Prince Max if he does, don't we? Prince Max. Prince? Mm-hmm. This little lady wants to know if you like to dance. <laughs> Well, if it's for a cute little lady, I'd love to. Hey, Elastic, why don't you join us? Me? Hmm. Let's see. Huh. Oh! In herself. Emotions. Riley! Come dance with me! What? Orange Head? You! Yeah, I know. I know, stupid Orange Head. Well, this Orange Head wants your dance. I... I don't know how to dance. That's okay, I don't either. We'll just do the silly goose together. <laughs> I've never seen Rylan join in festivity. I can see why. He really can't dance, can he? No. At least he's with Elastic, who also can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sending a message to Sela? No, just wanted to see what's going on over there. With your power, you'll be able to see what the bird saw when it returns. Precisely. After we're done with the vault, we can return to Sela for the time being. What is Kao doing? Kao, we're going to be late because of you! Coming! Goes there. Oh, guards! You know, you guys would look cuter with some ribbons and lace. Oh, this is no place for little kids to roam around. Where's your home? We'll bring you back. Little kids? 
Cal, how does that sound to you? I don't like it. Neither do I. Not even one bit. Ugh, knights. Do they really think posting some no-power guards will protect the vault? Pathetic. Just what we were looking for. Lucian! Lucian, please go on! I can't wait to see which powers these bloodstones have! Oh, I just can't wait! Hey, Lucian, do you mind if I take some of this gold? Be my guest now. <laughs> <laughs>